welcome back to the channel. Round 23 scores have dropped. Once again, I made a bad captain choice and it let my team down. Top 15% for the round, still top 2% overall. Um, a rank, season rank change dropped 356 spots. Um, 1,420, look, most weeks you would be stoked with a score like that, but I'm disappointed because I missed out on some points. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to check out the team of the week. This is going to be massive. 1,758. What a huge score. So Grant, 100, 113. Cook, Papali'i, Tamalolo, Crichton, 161. Firma, 105. Butcher, 140. Hines, 130. Sam Walker, 110. Drinkwater, Munster, Holmes, 118, 69, Amon, Lomax, Tass, Tedesco, 109, Mitchell, 105. That's nine players getting over 100. That is just, this could possibly be the biggest score ever. I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, maybe the round where Tommy Turbo got, did he get 250 or something like that? If someone had him as captain, there's 500 points straight off the bat. But that's a huge score. Um, so, yeah, top 15%, 1,420. Look, I can't be sad with that. I'm not stoked, but it's keeping keeping me in that top 2%. I wish I had have got um, captain someone else. We'll check out my team. I've still got one trade left. Um, two rounds to go. I don't know what to do. All right, so Grant, 113 good. Happy Curacao, playing good. This week, the Panthers up against the Warriors. Curacao could go good, hopefully. Joseph Tarpany, 75, with a rib cartilage injury. Just absolutely a monster. Papali, um, Papali'i, 85, Tamalolo, 51. Cam Murray, who a lot of people brought in, this week gone, and he got 48. Disappointing there. He looked like, well, Jai Arrow apparently had a stomach bug that week. So unless he'd passed it on to Murray and Murray was under the weather, he just didn't even look like how he normally does. Colin Matangi, 63. Crichton, 161. Um, Olakawatu, 70. 130. Drinky. Okay, so our captain... Joey Manu, I had the V on Latrell. I was going to loop, but I had Ezra Mam's 12 as my auto emergency. And I did the maths and I figured, I think around the 50 mark, if I had a captain that got 50, it'd be the same as the auto emergency um, loop. So I went with Manu thinking he would at least bust out 100. And it was looking good too. In the, He was actually the first try scorer for the Roosters, but it was disallowed because they classed Matt Lodge as tackled, but he really wasn't tackled. So I was spewing. At that moment in time, I was cheering in the lounge room because I, I was thinking Manu's going to have an absolute monster against the Tigers. Um, so Karaz, 31, Mortalo. Look, my weakness here is definitely my centers. Now that Garrick's out, um, potentially I could trade out Garrick and bring in a center. Um, I might look at the matchups this week to see who is worth bringing in, but there's a ton of hard matchups like Broncos versus the Eels. Panthers players could go big against the Warriors, Manly against Roosters. I mean, Storm against Roosters, Canberra against Manly, Sharks Sharks against Bulldogs could be big, Souths against North Queensland, the Tigers and Dragons, and the, and the, and the one they got on Sunday afternoon is Titans versus Knights. What a woeful game to watch. Um, <clears throat> so I don't think I've got any, any injuries or suspensions at this point. Um, the Roosters against the Storm, definitely not going to captain Manu. Um, Broncos had 
a 60 foot on them last week. So I could put a V on Papali'i because it's the first game. Or I could sub in Apicurasau. <coughs> Happy Carousel and put a V on Happy Carousel. Trades, like I said, one round to go. I could trade out Garrick. Let's have a look. Trade out Garrick. I have 604. Let's get rid of the filter. Players I can afford. Um, three round average. Look, there's really no one that I want to bring in in that list. David Nofaluma, possibly. Um, Daniel Tupo. Val Holmes, I could afford and bring in. They're playing South. And then what's their last game? Panthers? Yeah, South and Panthers. Like, that's... Not the greatest matchup. So I don't know if I would go Val Holmes. Um, I don't really know. Look, I'd have to look through this list and see who's a bit of a pod and who has uh, even. Look, Adam Dewey. Who are the Tigers playing? The Dragons and then the Raiders. Surely you would think they would fire up after that defeat. Or look, I, don't, I actually don't want to bring in someone. I could sub down Talakai and bring in a second rower, perhaps. Um, Luciano, no. Look, Nelson Sofa Solomona has looked really good playing on the edge. The last two games, 68 against the Panthers, 113 against the Broncos, but they're playing the Roosters and Para. But him playing on an edge is pretty good. David Fafita playing Newcastle and the Warriors. Mate, maybe I take a punt and go Fafita. Newcastle, and then the Warriors. Look, that's not a bad option. I don't really like the look of anyone else. I could sub down a front row, but I don't think there's any front rowers that I want to bring in. Look, David Fafita in 11% of teams. And what's it say? Stop the right, the price, it's around 8, super coach. They achieved some runs next season. They've been dealt a blow given the Titans run home. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to do. I've got one trade for feeder. If I get an injury in my backs, at least Tail and May should play. But who do I start? I don't, I don't really need to bring in a second row because I've already got one reserve there. I really need a center. Look, Bo Fumer has been playing pretty good. I traded him out earlier this year. Bo Fumer against the Knights and the Warriors could be the go. Could be the go. And he's dual, which helps if I get an injury up here, a couple of injuries. So I might lock in Bo Fermer. Bo Fermer. Bo Fermer. 11% ownership. So 93, 61. Yeah, look, he's playing pretty good. He's playing 80 minutes. It's going okay. All right, I'm going to lock it in. Last trade of the year. Could be a massive risk, but I need to have some depth. I don't like playing Karaz at all. That makes me feel a little bit better. 
And you know what? I would even go as far as captaining Bofemur against the Knights, potentially. Yeah, I don't know who to captain this week, honestly. Maybe Nico Hines is the go against the Bulldogs. Yep, that's probably the go. All right, people, that looks like the team. Look, I'll probably reverse this firmer trade. Um, who knows what I'm going to do, but that is just a little a little gamble. Look, i got a dual flexibility there. He plays the Knights and the Warriors. Um, so, yeah. I think they're fighting for the spoon, are they? The Tigers and the Titans. So I, I really shouldn't be buying players who are in losing teams. So I'll probably reverse that. All right, well, I will see you for Teams List Tuesday tomorrow. Um, leave a comment down below how you went this week, who you captained. Like I said, I captained Johnny Manu. Terrible choice. Well, it wasn't a terrible choice. It just didn't work. Um, one trade left for me. I'm making getting a center in. Tell me how many trades you've got, if you're getting someone in, if you've got injuries, if you've got suspensions, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.